Okay guys, the latest DIY project. We have the Goof Off Kanjo. And uh, it's made out of a Goof Off can, if you didn't gather. So ironically, I was doing some painting. Um, we have wood floors through most of the house and my wife decided she wanted to repaint several of the rooms. So I got a bottle of this and we went through it and I was like, oh, that can might make a good Kanjo. So this is one of the CB Giddy pre-made Kanjo necks that you can get. And uh, they just come just like this. So I use that, but it only has one hole. I think it only had this one, if I remember. No, I think this, yeah, I think this one it came with. And so I drilled a second hole, very simple. And then you drill a hole sideways through it. Slap a couple tuners in there. Put these screws in for string guides. Um, just use a threaded rod there. Actually, I think that was a bolt that, you know, not I think, that was a bolt that I cut the head off of and made it into a threaded rod. Um, and then this was from a girl's necklace. It was a little charm and I just screwed it right in there and uh, make some little headstock decoration. And then down here at the bottom, we just put the can right on. Nothing special there. But after I got done with it, because so I originally built it, and then I got done with it, and I realized it'd be nice to be able to plug this in. But where are you going to put a pickup on this thing? So I rigged up this pickup. Then I also realized at the same time that it was hard to play because since the neck is only this wide, a little over an inch wide, when you would strum it, it would have a tendency to rock back and forth like this, so it was hard to play. So I thought, ah, oh, you know what? put a couple wings on the body here here let's just do this let me put it over there we go just put a couple wings on the body and that would make it a, have a lot more area so it wouldn't rock so much and it would also protect this pickup so what I did here you can see I just put a piezo there I just hot glued it on nice and cleanly then I coated it to make sure the wires were encased and then the wires you can see go down through the canjo neck come out on the bottom side and then I use this little L bracket here and the jack and um, it actually worked out really well um, so it keeps everything protected so you can't snag the wires or anything like that and then the wings just kind of added an additional protection I just kind of rounded them off back here to give it a little more um, aesthetic but uh, that's it that's all there is to it the goof off canjo. So by the way, this L bracket that I used here, it's one of these. So if you buy any piece of furniture from Ikea, they give you one of these. And it's just an L bracket to secure the piece of furniture to the wall. And they're free with any piece of furniture. Actually, technically they're free without it. If you walk into an Ikea and buy anything, they have a, like a basket of these in the spare parts section and you can just take them um, otherwise every piece of furniture comes with one like taped on so uh, I just took this drilled out this right here with I think it's a 3 8 inch or whatever it is hole and just drilled it out a little wider to put the jack through took a file and just rounded off those corners so that they don't snag you hopefully you can see that there there you go so rounded off those corners and uh, then screwed it into the bottom, and that's it. So that was kind of a cool little trick for uh, mounting a pickup. And uh, so you can just kind of strum it acoustic, or um, you can actually plug it in. But this is kind of a fun little thing. Now, by the way, I just used two. These are two B strings from a standard set of um, electric guitar strings. I think they're 13, 013 three gauge. Um, and I just did two of them, and I tuned them in, in uh, unison. And I believe it's tuned to a D. It's either a C or a D. I can't remember. I think it's a D. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Tune it to whatever you want to tune it to. But that's it. Oh, one other thing. Here on the back, I put a couple of washers there. I just punched a couple holes through with an awl. And I put a couple of washers so that it wasn't putting that pressure right on there, you know, to kind of spread out the, uh, the tension. I don't know if that'll actually do anything or not. But, hey, I like to think it would. So here you go. Here is the Goof Off Kanjo. A little quick, you know, it took me, what, an hour or something to put this together, including letting the stain dry. I think it took like an hour.
Uh, one of the fun things about a canjo is because it's a little diatonic, simple instrument, typically a one string instrument, is you can plunk out all those little children's tunes like, you know, Happy Birthday or She'll Be Coming Around the Mountain or whatever. Um, and it's just kind of fun. So let's try on this two stringer, we got the extra drone notes. Let's see how this sounds. Let's try Twinkle Twinkle Little Star on this thing. Why not? So there we go, a little children's tune on the uh, goof off. <laughs> 